What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another interview edition of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, and today we have with us Titan, the co-founder of Nifty Labs, revolutionizing the utility of NFTs. How are you doing today? Very good, my friend. Thanks for having me on. This is awesome. Yeah, good to see you. I mean, I've known you forever on Twitter. We've interacted on Twitter, but we've never actually done a voice call. So this is the first time. It's nice yeah, to finally cool. uh, hear the voice officially. Thank so you. you guys over at Nifty Labs have kind of exploded onto the scene recently. Uh, we have been with you since the IAO on ApeSwap. Great platform. If you guys haven't checked it out, check that out. Um, can you kind of give us just a brief high level overview of what Nifty Labs is and what you guys have going on? Absolutely. So uh, the brief high level overview is that um, you know, we're taking NFTs and really digital assets as a whole, uh, and we're, we're giving them more utility. And that is, um, that's like the quick tagline, but really in more depth, it means we are allowing these NFTs, for example, to be used as like access passes, like membership cards, um, even in our case, what we've done with our own NFTs, uh, you know, build a loyalty reward system. And, and so uh, things like that, and we'll get into more depth on like what all that means. Awesome. I mean, I think that's really the value. I've said this on uh, tweets. I've said this in an interview I did with another project called Eureka, where I believe mm -hmm. in the NFT space and the future of it, but I more believe in utility NFTs and actually having a use case, providing value, providing long-term and sustainable value versus just the artwork. I think some mm -hmm. artwork NFTs will survive, but I think it's going to be far and few between just like the traditional, you know, real physical art sector is. So I think utility really provides that value. And that's something that you guys are working hand in hand on. Totally agree. And, and that's literally why we, we started doing what we're doing. Um, I, I put a tweet out maybe a week ago or so or a couple of days about how, uh, you know, we can see the writing on the wall, um, you know, with the PFP projects launching and getting, you know, the market getting a little saturated on the speculative side. And there would have to be some sort of utility option. And that's where we come in. Right. Everybody's producing those mints nowadays. They're all over yes, the place. Definitely. So you guys have had a ton of newsworthy events recently. I don't even really know where to start. Is there anything <laughs> that you, you know you think was the most exciting or that you want the viewers of this to really go over to your Twitter feed and look into uh, because it, it really is important for the future of you guys? Yeah, man, you, you're right. There, there's, a lot of, um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And in the last week, um, you know, just for example, this is just on the token side. You know, we, we obviously have a product side that we're working on and everything too. Um, but just for example, the token went, uh, from like just under a penny, um, to, you know, now sitting at 20 cents, but, you know, almost 30 cents, um, you know, at the peak. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we have some, I'm sure we have some more, you know, news worthy events coming soon, um, that we'll discuss, um, that will definitely help with that side. But I mean, that's, that's just recent. And then, you know, in kind of, uh, in a more product centric focus, we have a pretty exciting product. Uh, offering coming out uh, at the end of this month. Uh, we're actually going to be displaying the, the debut of the technology uh, in Miami um, for DecentralCon and Art Basel. So that's going to be pretty exciting as well. That's awesome. Uh, myself, my uh, business partner, and some of my community members will be down there. So we'll have to find you down there. We'll be at the event. We'll so we're all, we're all booked up. Uh, yeah, that's exciting. Uh, so you guys did the IAO on ApeSwap. I think you were at like less than a penny and a half. Uh, yes. Then all of a sudden you guys just kind of exploded along with the APR over an ApeSwap. Get over there, guys. You can pair Nifty with BNB to f do some farming and get some DeFi yield in the form of banana. So another good utility for token holders to kind of earn some additional passive income over there. Yeah, absolutely. We, we wanted to make sure that we provided a lot of um, you know, incentives and rewards, uh, not only for like the you know, single stake uh, asset um, you know, stakers, but also for the liquidity pool. Um, you know, providers as well. So we've got a lot of options for everybody. And that stuff really helps bridge uh, the gap to incentivize people to hold until you start getting these product releases that you guys are talking about and more utilities. So, yeah. I mean, talking about utilities, of course, the uh, native token for Nifty Labs is NFTY ticker symbol. Uh, can you tell us some of the current utilities and what utilities you have in mind? We're talking about all this digital ownership, but where does the token come into play with yeah. some of these ideas? Yeah, so so right now, um, and just to give some like backstory, uh, you know, we we started building Nifty Labs and the products that we've uh, we've offered uh, a little over a year ago. Actually, definitely more over a year ago, like late 2020. Um, and we started out with Nifty Connect, which is our flagship product. Uh, and essentially, Nifty Connect allows you to uh, create, and manage uh, what are called token gates. If you're not familiar with token gates, essentially what that does is it allows you to um, require a digital asset like an NFT 
uh, to gain access to specific, um, you know, private communities. Um, and then from there, there's a lot of other things that we're building onto that, um, that, uh, that are pretty cool. So for example, um, let's just say that you want to be able to uh, provide some sort of like promotion or discount uh, just for owning a, an NFT. Well, that would be possible with our technology because it's all the, really the same concept. You prove you own an asset. If you do own it, boom, you get access, you get a coupon or whatever that looks like, right? So where the token comes in is uh, especially on uh, our recent product offering, which is um, IRL event gates or you know in real life event gates. Right. Uh, that's what we're calling it right now. Uh, essentially what that is, is the ability to, um, you know, for any event organizers to set up an event or a conference rather, um, and then require uh, the users uh, to own an asset like an NFT to gain access to these events or conferences. Um, so that's one of the new product offerings that we have. And so the way that the token would work in that fashion would be, um, hey, the event runs the conference uh, or, or the event itself, um, sorry, the event organizer runs the event. And then you have all these users that come through, they prove that they own the assets. And then at the end of the day, once the event's over, there'll be an invoice for us, that invoice can be paid in Nifty. Um, and then there's also gonna be like these unique buy and burn mechanisms that we're gonna create through, um, through the growth of the product. So we want the, as the product grows, we want the token to also get more and more scarce. So the idea is, uh, you know, as token gates are created, there will be like an automatic, you know, burning mechanism for Nifty. Um, then we also have a really, really cool NFT project coming up uh, that, of course, you know, we'll, we'll be uh, giving discounts and promotions for people who are paying in Nifty. And those are just like three easy use cases we have right now. But a lot of it's going to be tied into, um, you know, the product as it grows, because we want right. the the users as the users come on the product to affect the token growth and then the supply and things like that. Right. And then, um, and then currently we have obviously staking, which is just about a hundred percent APY, um, which I think is pretty good, but you know, sustainable. <laughs> sustainable. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting. I mean, we've seen this, uh, token economics on other platforms and it is successful. The more users you have, the more buybacks you guys in theory could do, and right. then you can burn a portion of those as well, reducing total supply forever. Meaning the people who own the remaining of the, of the nifty tokens, have a larger pro rate of share of the total supply. And in theory, supply and demand price exactly. goes one direction. Exactly. Everything's in theory, non not financial advice, guys. But and that's yeah. what we've seen over and over. Uh, yeah. If you have a, a, a token or a project that has real utility and real business revenue, then you find success in the long run and sustainability through the bear market, the bull market, whatever it may, it may be. And that's yeah. why we target those type of tokens and those kind of founders and projects. No, exactly. You're, you're spot on. And I, I know, you know, this, Nick, I've seen, I mean, we've been around in the block for a minute. Um, and, and really like if you can create some sort of revenue model that actually reaches the mainstream, but then also translates to this web three world of token, you know, uh, you know, fungible token uh, liquidity, then that's essentially where you can really drive the value uh, on both ends, both in the web two world and web three. And that's where you bridge the gap to. And so that's what we really focused a lot of attention on is just figuring out how to first build a product that could uh, scale up in not only users and revenue, but then also take that and uh, build that into the mechanics of the token growth as well. So our goal is to make the token, the Nifty token, as crazy as it might seem at, at a you know, 1.4 billion total supply, like we want to make this thing extremely scarce. Um, and that will happen as the uh, product and uh, users continue to grow. Right further incentivizing the long-term holders. So if you believe in the project, you like what you see, use those tokens for maybe you're going to use it for events, NFT launches, yep. or just hodl on and watch that uh, total supply shrink and yep. uh, your value should accrue as well. So Absolutely. exciting times ahead. Definitely. So, I mean, we've kind of gone over what, what Nifty Labs is, some current product offerings you have, some current utilities you have. Is there any dates that people should be circling on their calendar for some big news or new utilities uh, for the platform or the token? Yeah, two, I guess two big, um, and I hate dates in crypto. Uh, I think Gho's, <laughs> Gho's put a tweet out a while ago saying like, you know, specific uh, deadlines or dates in crypto is almost just like worthless. Because stick, stick to quarters, and then you got a three month window. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> things change so rapidly, like week to week in crypto. So um, I will say uh, this week, there's definitely going to be an exciting announcement. So um, I can't say late this week, can't say early, just say, you know, this week. 
Um, and then definitely at the end of this month, um, it's gonna be really exciting for us as well. Uh, we're gonna be official sponsors of the DecentralCon conference. Uh, I'll be doing a little bit of speaking there. Uh, so will our CEO, um, Digital Lawrence. Uh, and we also have the technology debut as well. So we're gonna do our own side event and kind of you know, display the technology uh, to be able to get into the event, of course. Uh, so we're looking at working with a couple of different like PFP projects to uh, enable their users to come to the event, of course, and prove that they own the asset to get in and things like that. And just kind of show people, you know, where we're going with all of this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been, it's been built our IRL event getting tech. Uh, we're just ready to just show it off to the world and let everybody see how it works. And then uh, we actually are working on our mobile app as well. Um, and, and still an iOS and Android beta, but we'd like to get that mobile app to the point where this, all of this technology that I'm speaking about can all be done through the mobile app where, you know, an event organizer can set up an event through the app, uh, you know, require the digital assets. Of course, you can RSVP from your home, uh, you know, like on a cold wallet or whatever, right. if you need to do that, because that would not be good to have a line of like four day Yacht Club NFT right. uh, holders, you know, with their MetaMask or their laptops and right. line. That it wouldn't be, be good. good. No, so we, we allow people to like RSVP ahead of time and prove they own the asset, and then they can actually get a ticket um, that's generated from that proof of ownership. That way they don't have to bring the asset with them. So that we're, we're working all these, um, these you know, factors into our mobile app. So I really am excited to get that rolling. That'll be definitely, I, I imagine uh, end of Q4. Um, sure. So looking at that as well. And then Got some pretty cool, exciting things coming on the, the staking side as well for ETH. Uh, currently, we support BSC, um, you know, single single asset staking for Nifty, uh, but we'll definitely be supporting uh, the ETH side as well. We want to like make sure our liquidity is relatively balanced, um, even though most of our liquidity and volume is on BSC because of the transaction right. fees and things like that. You know, we still want to obviously support the, the ETH side as well um, with not only single asset staking, but also NFT staking. So we have uh, two other token IDs um, that we have not, uh, have not um, you know, get given rewards for yet. Token ID eight uh, of our NFT access passes gives you 250,000 um, Nifty tokens over 21 months total. Um, and so currently that's a value of like 60 grand, which is right. pretty cool. Um, but the other two NFTs we're going to be giving staking rewards to as well, so that you can essentially just lock up your NFT, take it off the market, which is a really cool concept on its own. And uh, essentially earn rewards just by keeping it locked up. That's awesome. You guys got a lot coming. Make sure to give me the uh, information uh, yes. for that event in Miami because we yes, would like definitely. to definitely attend that side event while we're down there. Absolutely. Get some content, make some posts, and uh, see how it works. Maybe yeah, get some people awesome. excited if it if it works properly. Oh, I yeah. mean, getting on this video, I already knew I was already interested in the project. Guys, yeah. we were we were in the pre-sale. I like what I saw. It's a good sector. Yeah. It's the utility. But hearing what you're saying and kind of putting it all together in words in a simple form, you know, it excites me even more for the future of this platform and for the token, really. That's Thank just you. me being honest. No, uh, I appreciate it. I mean, that's really all I had to ask you. Just wanted to kind of get an overview. And uh, if we missed anything, now's the time to say it. Do you think of anything that you want to, we might have skipped over? Oh, I mean, there's definitely a lot to talk about. I mean, we could go on and on about just, um, you know, kind of uh, the, the high level concepts on, you know, using NFTs or, or fungible tokens as access and, you know, all the different routes that you could go with it. But uh, one of the coolest th things that we're actually um, working on, and I can actually uh, publicly say this now. Uh, so we have a lot of really cool advisors. Uh, one of those is um, Justin Taylor. Okay. Uh, of head of consumer product marketing at Twitter. Um, you'll definitely see him around if you if you've seen any of uh, like a lot of the NFT projects, like like uh, on one I think was one he was helping out with, and um, a few others. Um, but so he's he's a big brand guy in like the Web two side. You know, Web three totally different. Web two these guys are trying to get into like you know NFTs and and uh, they're pretty excited about it, but they're just trying to figure out the best way of interfacing. Um, either with existing communities or, of course, creating their own NFT projects. Um, like in the case of Twitter, for example, they launched their own NFTs. They did not um, have any royalties on them. Um, in fact, I don't even think they sold them. I think they just gave them away or something <laughs> like that. Um, and so that's just an example of like a Web2 brand, like trying to put their feet in the water, but like they're still scared of regulations and things like that. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe rightfully so. But what we're doing is we're trying to um, and actively figuring out ways to bridge 
web two brands to web three companies. Um, so for example, like if, if uh, Arizona Ice T, who used uh, one of their board apes that they purchased, the IP from that board ape, um, to do a marketing stunt, if they wanted to properly interface with the board ape yacht club to offer some sort of rewards, like hey, if you own a board ape, you can get, you know, uh, a lifetime supply of like Arizona Ice T or whatever, you know, whatever right, you want right. to come up with. Um, that's where we're going next is essentially the Web two to Web three interfacing. Um, where we'll have like a, a brand, um, you know, white label brand loyalty rewards portal uh, where these Web2 brands could come in. They can white label the, the uh, portal itself, make it look nice. Um, and then, of course, they can use that to interface with some of these other bigger projects like CryptoPunks or Bored Apes or Pudgy Penguins, you know, whoever they want to interface with and, um, and offer rewards to. Because if you think about it, like imagine Rolex is like, hey, we want to give a 20% discount to all the board Ape yacht club NFT holders or the crypto punks or any one of those guys. I mean, mm -hmm. I can 100% guarantee you that at least, you know, a, a quarter of the people who own a board ape or a crypto punk are going to go take that offer. Right. right. Uh, primarily because it's being offered to them in the first place, you know, because now it's almost like you've got this asset that acts as like an exclusive, uh, you know, membership reward. Right. It almost becomes a status symbol. So exactly. people want to do it so they can do the, get their clout and post about it. Also, 20% off a of Rolex, which some people see as a good investable asset, that seems like a free arbitrage opportunity to me right there as well. So Well, there you go. <laughs> so like these are different things that the, these Web2 brands are thinking of, but there's no easy way to interface. It's like, okay, now you got to like, you know, for Rolex, they got to reach out to Board Ape, you know, they got to figure out like, uh, you know, some, some sort of standalone technology that they could build to automate this process. Because I mean, I'll tell you what, like from being an NFT NYC, for example, the process for, for verifying ownership of NFTs to get into events is there wasn't any. <laughs> right. It was pretty much like, hey, clipboard. Uh, yeah, what's your Discord username? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just, you know, kind of go through this. I'll, also, it's not alphabetical order, order. So let me just kind of like, you know, go through the pages. There's, there's nothing there right now. So uh, that's what we were building. We're building all the technology for all this stuff. And we're not just saying it. We're actually building it. Yes. Right. Get that first mover advantage. And if you if you guys put out a good product, there is crypto events all over the place. And if they're using your product, yep. then they're going to be using your token. You're going to get buybacks, burns, name recognition. Yep. And then once the name recognition comes, then the Web 2.0 companies will know who you are. And maybe they'll try to work with you and your products because they're now trustworthy uh, and, to, and to do some of those membership ideas. I mean, exciting times ahead from what I'm hearing. Definitely, Definitely, guys, uh, in the description, make sure if you want more information, I'll have their Twitter handle, their website, and I'll make sure to have the NFTY token contract. So if you do end up buying it, you're buying the real deal. As we do know, there's plenty of scam tokens out there in some of these yeah. DEXs, so be safe out there. Uh, you can get on the BSC network or Ethereum network. I prefer BSC due to the $0.16 cent transaction fees. But if you're an ETH maximalist, you do have the opportunity over there as well. That's all I got today, guys. So make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for Titan over here coming on here from Nifty Labs, revolutionizing the utility of NFTs. And remember to keep tuning in to Learn Crypto, home of your daily updates on cryptocurrency and stock, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news. Peace out. Thanks, Nick.